President-elect Trump says he plans to place tariffs on Mexico and Canada on the first day of his new administration. In a social media post last night, Trump expressed anger over border issues to our south and to the north. ABC's Jay O'Brien has the story from Washington. A renewed battle over the border even before the next Trump term begins. The president-elect's outspoken incoming border czar, Tom Homan, in Eagle Pass, Texas today, with National Guard troops and other law enforcement deployed by Governor Greg Abbott. Let me be clear. There is going to be a mass deportation because we just finished a mass illegal immigration crisis on the border. And swift reaction today from foreign leaders after Trump threatened to implement 25% across the board tariffs on Mexico and Canada on day one of his new administration. If both countries, he says, don't crack down on their borders with the U.S. Mexico's president today showing a letter she sent to Trump warning she'll hit back with tariffs of her own. Mexico is the United States' largest trading partner, with the U.S. buying nearly half a trillion dollars of Mexican goods like computers, cars, and electrical equipment. Tariffs could also hurt U.S. industries and send prices higher for American consumers. And Canada's prime minister calling Trump directly after the announcement. I don't think the idea of going to war with the United States is what anyone wants. What we will do is stand up for Canadian jobs. Trump now also accusing China of sending, quote, drugs pouring into our country, threatening an additional 10 percent tariff on all Chinese products, too. Trump saying his tariffs will, quote, remain in effect until such time as drugs, in particular fentanyl, and all illegal aliens stop the invasion of our country. Every damn thing that they sell into the United States is going to have like a 25 percent tariff until they stop drugs from coming in. Mexico's president today calling the fentanyl epidemic a consumption problem inside the U.S. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.